Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Huseman. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm really, really excited to be showing y'all what is new in my closet. These are items where I maybe got one or two pieces from a brand, so I didn't want to do a whole haul, but I've kind of slowly been collecting them over the past month. And they are just all perfect for spring, so I'm so really excited to share my wardrobe additions with y'all. And if there's anything that you see that you like, everything will be linked in the down bar below, so you can get more information on sizes, fabric, materials, any questions you might have. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. So I think you'll notice my set is starting to get a really, really sad. That is because I'm actually moving to San Francisco, California. So I'm working on downsizing my home and trying to get pieces moved out. So if you follow me on Instagram or you've seen the vlogs, you would have heard it first. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel with those bell icons turned on and you follow me at Nicole underscore Huseman on Instagram. So you are never late with any updates, but this might be one of my last, this might be the last video that I'm actually filming in this space with these pink walls. And this mirror is going with me, but not much else is. So it's definitely a little melancholy, but it's exciting because I get to introduce some new pieces that'll come with me and just really freshen up my wardrobe. So the first couple items are from H&M and it is their beautiful wildflower collection. I saw this come out on Josie the Londoner's channel and I've been obsessed with it ever since. My absolute favorite piece is this poplin dress. It is a kind of like midi length dress. It doesn't come all the way down, but it has this gorgeous, almost like apron design. I don't know what you would call this on the front. And the back has this gorgeous bow and kind of like cutouts on the upper back and lower back. And I think this is just such a gorgeous dress. I was so sad because I actually don't think you can get this online. It always just says coming soon. But I walked into H&M to make a return and I saw it and I immediately like ran to the rack and grabbed it. So I think the color is stunning. I really thought that I would like the white pattern with the flowers on it the best, but I found that this color, the green with this print, is my favorite from the collection, and you'll see I have another piece with the exact same print. So I'll go ahead and show you the other pieces, but they are just as adorable. It literally almost like disappears into this dress because the pattern is the same. But this is another adorable dress from the H&M Wildflower Collection. It does come with straps. So you'll see in the try on clip, I'll try it on without the straps and with the straps, you can see it both ways. It is the same fabric, so apologies for the camouflage but it has this gorgeous ruched top and I just love the length of it. I feel like this is casual enough I could wear to work. The white one felt a little bit more formal. I don't know if it was because the flowers were a bit bigger or the white, but this felt like something I could wear every day. And so I am so excited to be adding these beautiful dresses to my collection and they just make me want to wear a dress every day in spring. And sometimes I have a hard time when it's so hot putting a dress on, but these are just so like breezy and flowy that they are perfect. <laughs> another full length wildflower collection gown and it has these gorgeous breezy sleeves with another ruched top with a flowy bottom and I really love this dress I think the fabric is gorgeous I love the shape of it but I will be having this to come to about mid thigh just because it looks a little on the formal side it kind of looks a little bit like a beautiful nightgown when it's this long and my style doesn't lend itself to these kind of outfits because I do work in a pretty casual office. Like most of us are wearing sweatpants. So I think I'm just gonna hem this dress and it will be the absolute perfect spring dress for me. And the try on clip will probably be with it all the way down. But when I do get it hemmed, I might actually hem it myself. I will be putting it on my Instagram. So make sure you're following me over there so you can see this dress transform into something that is completely me. Wildflower collection is this linen top and it has these beautiful puffy sleeves it has ruching on the back and it has a really fitted bust area I think this was just so gorgeous I bought it in store and I was looking for the shorts and they didn't have them so I did order them online but I doubt they'll be here in time for this video like try on haul but this is just so beautiful I thought this would be perfect for going to the park with friends 
probably not something I can wear to work just because it is more on the crop side, but I just think this is so perfect for like a picnic in the park or bicycling around San Francisco with some friends. As you can see, I'm getting very into my move, <laughs> but I think the print of this is super unique. I don't have anything else from the collection in this print, so I was really excited to pick it up and hopefully the shorts are flattering. I will definitely be keeping this top and the shorts will depend on how they look. <laughs> collection. I have these dresses from Zara that I ordered recently. This one I have seen everywhere on the internet and I am afraid it's going to be sold out by the time I upload this, but it is this really cool like tennis skirt dress combo and it does have a little bit of cleavage so I might alter it to bring it more in on the bust area so that this kind of conceals a little bit more, but I'm going to have to figure out if I can do like some sort of button because you have to put it on like it unfolds and then folds over. So I'm gonna have to get creative with how I alter this, but I just think this is so cute. I love this like tennis, golf, country club style trend. I think it is so gorgeous. I think it's like both athletic, but still trendy and cute. And truthfully, I've been wearing tennis skirts since way before this was a trend. So I'm just happy that it's come back in trend. I have actually worn this to hang out with some friends after their golf game. My parents' river house is on a golf course, so I do often find myself reaching for styles like this when I go out to eat there because it kind of just matches the aesthetic. But this is just so gorgeous. The only thing is, it is along the short side, but it does have shorts underneath. So even if you do kind of bend over and flash someone, you're only flashing them shorts underneath. You don't have to worry about like your butt showing, which is really nice. <laughs> mid sleeve length also from Zara. I fell in love with the pattern of this fabric. I thought it could either go like old lady-ish couch or really chic and I think it looks really chic but you'll have to let me know in the comments down below what you think. I love the tiered skirt. I think it's such a cute design. It doesn't really look like too much so it's a really nice dress which to throw on. I would pair this with my white strappy platforms. I think it is such a cute outfit. I have a pink denim jacket that I throw on over top if it's a little chilly and it is just such a great spring outfit. I don't know how well it will transition into summer because it does have longer sleeves, but the fabric is nice and lightweight, so it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to try and wear. I got last up from Zara is this really cute cropped cardigan. I've been really into wearing cardigans as shirts. I think it's a really cute put together look that still looks like trendy. So I kind of feel like this is trading into my Gen Z roots, but I do notice a lot of girls on TikTok wearing cardigans as shirts. And I thought this one was just so perfect. It has this ruffled sleeve hem as well as, I, I don't know if you would call this, I don't think this is a lettuce hem on the bottom. I think this is just like a ruffled hem, but I think it's so soft. It's comfortable to wear. It does. It's not scratchy like some knits are. And I think it just works really well with a pair of, I like to wear it with boyfriend jeans and a pair of sneakers or a pair of like espadrilles I think will be really cute with this. I really like the relaxed look for this cardigan. <laughs> is from H&M and follows up on the tennis slash golf trend and it is a fit and flare dress. I would almost call this like a tennis dress and I think it is so easy to throw on, so perfect. I would wear this to work. I might dress this up more of like a sporty date night if I was going to like top golf or something and I just think it is a really easy piece. The other dress is stunning, but it is a little bit harder to wear because it does have that more low cut neckline. Whereas this is something I can easily throw on. I think I've reached for this maybe like four or five times since I got it. In fact, I had to wait to start the video until my laundry was done because I'd worn this so recently because it's just so easy and nice to throw on and still feel polished, but it's not too heavy. It's just my perfect spring dress really. And I love the cream. I love that it's not too white. So it kind of goes with both color palettes and I'm a big fan. The collar is perfect. The neckline isn't too low. And I got a size large because I knew it might shrink in the wash, but I almost could have gone to a medium because I'm kind of in that in between. <laughs> To 
To finish up the clothing portion of my haul, I have two pairs of jeans. They're both from Free People. This one is more of a boyfriend cut. I'll take it off the hanger and show. So it's kind of more of a boyfriend cut and it has some holes in it. And I just really like this relaxed fit. It's not a skinny jean. It has lots of room in the ankles. So it's really just casual, easy to throw on. I like to wear this with a cardigan I showed earlier. I like to wear it with like a white frilly top for summer and dress it up with more of like heels or espadrilles. And I think it's such a cute look. very interesting piece. I think it's gonna be hard to see them on the hanger or even off the hanger. The credit for these jeans 100% goes out to one of my best friends. Her name is Sierra and she loves wearing jeans like this and they always look so stunning. So they are like 70s bell bottoms. Like these are just flare jeans. These are like true true bell bottoms if I've ever seen them. I love how fun they are. I love how unique they are. I don't see a lot of people wearing these. And so I like to pair this with more of a fitted like long sleeve top if it's cold or short sleeve top. You could wear like a really fun print on top, but I do try and balance out some of the craziness of the leg with a more understated top and then some really like funky wedges because you can't really see your feet so it makes your legs look just crazy long. It's such a good look and I love wearing these. I do wear them somewhat sparingly because they're so memorable but I really wanna get another pair. Sierra has a pair with like stars on the butt from Free People and like seriously, it's the cutest pair of jeans I've ever seen. She rocks them. So thank you Sierra for introducing me to these. I love them and if you guys want, like these jeans, please leave a comment down below letting me know I'm not the only one who's super in to bell bottoms right now. What I recently got in my wardrobe are these gorgeous sneakers. They are Veja, Veja, I'm not quite sure how to say them, but they're these really cool white sneakers with the iconic V on the side. I saw these on some girl getting brunch and I literally ran up to her and was like, where are your shoes from? I'm obsessed with them. And I found them in rose gold. Like I could not have imagined they could get better because I saw them in black. But I thought the black was like a really high contrast to the white, which is a great look, but it doesn't quite go with my outfits. So I just love, love, love the shape of these. I wear my Air Force Ones when I want something a little bit clunkier, but these remind me like the shape of Golden Goose without them being distressed. I'm not a fan of the distressed look. I didn't think the perfect white sneaker existed. And then I found these. Unfortunately, I do think the rose gold was pretty hard to get my hands on. I had to go to like six different sites. So if I can find this exact color, I'll link it, but they have so many colors, so many different styles, and they are really comfy. I've only worn them once or twice because I'm so nervous to get this beautiful white leather, like scuffed or crinkled, but I, ugh, I'm just so pumped to wear these for work because everyone wears sneakers to work and pair this. I feel like even with like this outfit, it might be pretty cute, like to dress down a nice dress that's like kind of on the verge of being too fancy. So very excited. Well, y'all, thank you so much for watching. This is the What I Added to My Closet Recently video, and I'm so thankful that you clicked on this video. If you're still here, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. It really helps me out as a small creator. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video, which is Mondays for vlogs and Thursdays for fashion videos. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.